So today I went to the cause exhibit where the end starts. Um, it was one of the greatest exhibits that's honestly ever came to Dallas area. Well, technically it's in Fort Worth, but it's a really nice exhibit. So this exhibit starts off, you walk in, you can see a couple of chums on the wall. There's a red one, there's a, like a light pastel one, kind of a peach color. And there's this really like gray and kind of inverted looking yellow one. And they're all pretty good size. Um, those are the hands that Kanye's album cover. It's really cool. It's very cool looking, great to see in person. So then you walk, you walk in, you see a giant thing, it's kind of like Spongebob, it's really cool, it's honestly, it's massive, it's, it's really great to see in person, the colors he uses are really amazing, they just, they blend perfectly and he shades everything so nicely. When you get up close, you can really see the detail in these. It's amazing. Honestly, if, if you live in Dallas, I would definitely go to this exhibit. It's definitely worth the admission charge, honestly. It's one of the greatest exhibits I've ever seen in my life. Here we have a ton of versions of Snoopy. Um, my favorite is personally the pink one in the middle. Um, these are really cool to see in real life. These are all acrylic on canvas, which is really insane. That's crazy. So much detail in these. So here we have this giant statue looking thing. Lots of people take pictures by this. It's crazy. And there's a ton of Spongebob different paintings around it and it's honestly super cool. Then here you walk in. It's about the first room you'll see in here. You have a ton of the Simpsons collaborations he did. These are all honestly probably the coolest ones in here. Um, personally I like the statues the best that he does super cool but the art is always they're about equally as cool honestly and there's a Snoopy like a Joe Cool <laughs> this is really cool had to get a video of this one this is amazing I ended up recording this whole exhibit just so I could show y'all. There's this one was super cool. It's the Beatles album cover. If you look at it closely, you'll see a little Buddha cause. I wish he would do more paintings with that. And then over here, which this dumbass lady wouldn't get out of my fucking way, even I zoomed in and she still got fucking closer. As you can see, stupid lady. But these are like little action figure paintings. They're all like in plastic. Super cool. Then as you walk over here, you can see a SpongeBob as you can first see, which is really cool. This is all acrylic on canvas. This is Fat Albert. It's super cool. When I came here, I also took a ton of photos on my film camera. Those should all turn out super good as well. This one's my favorite. Um, it's the Smurfs, if you can't obviously tell. but it's, very, it's a very good size, and it's very well detailed. 
So this is about the second room when you walk, first walk into this exhibit. Um, notice the giant SpongeBob. It's very abstract. Lots of cool planks and stuff around it. You then come over to this one, and it's a ton of hands of the companion. It's very, very cool. This one, probably my second favorite painting. This one was also really cool. This one's on the billboard when you first come in here. It's the it's literally called Where the End Starts. And then you come over to this room and it's a bunch of old drawings that he made and that each of them are framed. I can't recall counting, but I think there were almost 50, 50 something here but you can really see the detail he sketched these into from the early supreme designs, the little companions and all these have been just like rough drafts of amazing things he's created this was probably one of the coolest parts seeing this at this exhibit always save those old drawings because if you're an artist and you think your shit's trash man always save that shit because look at him man he's got all of his shit in here it's crazy then there's some more I think this was like the other half of it but just really pay attention to the detail so much detail even in just his drawings and this is the giant companion statue. It's about six foot. I think I was just as tall as it. Sorry for the awkward angles. There was a family that wouldn't move, but there's a giant wooden companions and like the Pinocchio companion. Uh, very, very cool. These are massive, as you can see, the people standing right next to them. They take up two stories. Um, a couple more over here. Those aren't Pinocchio companions, but they are all made of wood. That one, however, is the Pinocchio companion. Very, very cool. That one is taller than me. I think it's about eight to seven feet tall. You get up really close to this one, you can see the amazing detail. And you walk into this room, this is mainly like Snoopy and like Woodstock and all that kind of stuff, and you can see the chums. Like It kind of looks like the Michelin Man, it's super cool. This painting, however, is one of my favorites. I got a couple pictures standing next to this one, it's very, very cool. And there's a, a ton of just Snoopy and Woodstock drawings. It's about eight feet tall, and I think, I don't know how many there are, but if you want to count them. Very cool. Very cool to see in person. And there's this giant bunny companion looking statue. It's very cool. I wish the eyes would have been a different color, but the all black effect is very cool. And you come over here, and there's just his head. It's just a really cool piece. Very basic, very cool. And you can see that painting right there. Um, yeah, he did another action figure type wrap kind of deal. Very cool. Then you come into this room and you see this giant painting and it's very detailed. That, another one of my favorites. Then you walk in here and there's always people taking pictures by this one. I even had a couple pictures taken by this one. This and that painting, well, probably not the painting, but that statue is my favorite thing in the whole exhibit. And I wish when I was recording, this dumbass lady would have gotten out of the way, but it's a very beautiful statue. It's probably the best thing you could see in the exhibit. And 
then once you walk out of that you see this I love when he shapes the canvas it just paints right over a figure it's, where it's not a basic square like most artists do it's very cool then you come in this room right next to those paintings I just showed you and it's a cause thinker companion thinker it's very cool it's very large it takes up two stories and you can see it from the top here it is from the top and as you can see it's very tall lots of people also take pictures by this one then you come in the room next to it and it's some of Kaw's earliest works as you can see that's Keith Haring with Kaw's it's very cool that is another one of my favorites so are these these are the old ads he would paint on very early of his work but very cool each and every one of these is equally cool. I love all of these. Then you come over here. And there's just this tiny little painting that he did. Very cool. Then in the next room, you see a bunch of basically abstract SpongeBob's. <laughs> Just very basic shapes with his face. Very cool. So when I went here opening day, um, lots of people lined up to buy the, you know, the little toys people collect and then resell for rape prices. But I was one of the only people that was there for the opening day for the exhibit, not just the companions he was releasing. But I did not see this. I did not see this room at first, and I'm, this is the only room I missed. And I'm glad, really glad I came back here and decided to make this video because I just wanted to show you all, all this beautiful exhibit. It's amazing. And you look over here, and there's a cat shaped. Uh, it's very cool. And you have some more SpongeBob's, but I like how they're all equally detailed and in a row. It's very cool. And then you look over here. This one was also one of my favorites. It's a Charlie Brown painted, very cool looking. Then he uh, painted the wall along with a ton of other really cool paintings. There's another Charlie Brown over there. I wish when I was recording I would have got closer to that one. And you can see a sculpture in the middle. It's kind of a sculpture slash painting. Another kind of peanuts painting over there. Very detailed, very cool. Another favorite of mine. Very interesting. There's the close up of the Charlie Brown. I thought I got that. So then you come over here and there's three very large detailed paintings. Um the one in the middle, shaped like Garfield, didn't notice that the first time, but then came to realize. It's very obvious and I can't believe I didn't realize that, but another one of my favorites. Then over there is another painting. This one was very cool, very big. It goes like eight feet tall. Yeah, and then here's a here's more of the wall. It goes across the just across the whole wall. Then you come out here. You have to go outside to see this. This is about the end of the video, but it's the giant cause BFF. I got lots of pictures of this thing, and I'm really glad I did. So. You have to come outside, it's like in the back of the exhibit, you have to walk down this staircase, and it's about when I got down there, but it's very to the side of things. I wish it would have just been inside like the rest of them, but it's way too tall. This thing is massive, but it's right by, uh, it's right by a lake, but it's just right outside the exhibit, you have to 
take a ton of stairs to go down there, but this is probably the best thing you'll want to see at this exhibit. I'm really glad I got to go to this twice. I hope y'all definitely get a chance to go to this or even just see this. Such a beautiful exhibit and 